Right now, humanity is on the precipice of a great change, one that will likely influence every aspect of our everyday lives. While many changes are happening in our social climate, it is artificial intelligence and large language models like ChatGPT that might prove to be the biggest. So what is it about artificial intelligence that will change the way we live our lives? And what is it about this technology that will change our very behavior and the way we interact with the world. It cannot be understated how important this discussion is and how much we need to be aware of what is happening and of what has already happened. So let's take a look. The first question you might be asking yourself is where exactly this technology is gonna be used? Well, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but AI will likely be used everywhere. Yeah, that's correct, everywhere. A single cursory look into almost every industry suggests that this could be the case. From hospitals to schools, from accounting to customer service, from Silicon Valley to retail, the push towards this technology could easily encompass everything we know. AI has applications everywhere you look. What this means is that whether or not you yourself are using artificial intelligence, you will probably be interacting with it to a substantial degree in the future. To understand this, you must understand how tied to technology a lot of industries actually are. Add on top of this the cost saving and ease of access that AI can provide. It's not hard to imagine how it might be implemented. Want to call Verizon to talk about your phone bill? In the future, you could be talking to a virtual agent. Want to order some fast food from McDonald's? You might have to interact with an artificially intelligent worker through the intercom or a display screen in store. Want to talk to a therapist? Some services might offer to connect you to an AI through your computer. Have some banking needs that need to be met? Easy. Talk to this non-human intelligent agent to help you out. And here's the biggest one of them all. Virtual teachers. Public schools and universities might offer online courses taught entirely by artificially intelligent teachers. Or the whiteboard in front of the room might be replaced by large displays for virtual models to walk around on in schools. Imagine that, a school where you interact even less with real people than you already do. If you are a professional in any given industry, you might find yourself interacting with them as well. Doctors might refer to AI to help with diagnoses and to arrive at an appropriate treatment. Are you an accountant? Well, major companies might employ this technology to double check your work. Are you an engineer or a computer programmer? There is no doubt that AI will be used to help make your job easier. Now, it might be hard to imagine an AI complex enough to convincingly replace a real human. I mean, how could an AI really be or replace a real life teacher? Well, my reply would be that we already have large language models that could pass the Turing test, a test that for the average person would convince them they are communicating with a real person. Anyone remember that Google employee that came out and said that AI had become sentient? Imagine how far this technology will evolve over a few years and you should be able to see how convincing it will become. Remember, we are only in the first few years of this technology being released to the public. Now that we have established how we might be interacting with AI in the future, let's take a look at how it might change your behavior. Number one, I think one of the biggest ways it will change human behavior is ushering in an age of heightened self-awareness. So what do I mean by self-awareness? Well, consider this. AI and large language models will likely infest all corners of the internet, including social media. All you have to do is browse Reddit or YouTube for 10 minutes to understand how filled with bots comments and discussion boards can be. If AI hasn't already been utilized with bots, they most certainly will be, and in a big way. Places like TikTok already have AI influencers with thousands of followers. When you browse those message boards or watch influencers, how will you know whether or not you're talking or consuming the content of a real person as a result of these language models sounding increasingly like a real person? In this sense, the implementation of AI on the internet will make us ever more self-aware. As we interact with mediums such as the internet, our behavior will most certainly have to adapt to be on the lookout for AI lest we be deceived, scammed, or at the very least, dishonestly manipulated. This might make using the internet more stressful than it already is until proper safeguards are implemented. 
Hold on, good sir, in what ways could AI be utilized to manipulate us, you might ask? For starters, all you have to do is look towards financial incentive. What if the soda and pop magnates of the world become ever concerned about the decline of sales of their drinks? Well, what if AI was used to deploy thousands of covert agents to flood message boards about how great and tasty and healthy their drinks are? To go out to your local gas station to consume that sugary death bomb, it's good for you. Then you read a post online and suddenly see hundreds of comments with thousands of upvotes to substantiate their claims. The herd mentality is real, folks. People tend to gravitate towards content that has more views or likes. Now, Conscientious adults might read the claims as disingenuous at best and horrifically false at worst and recognize the drivel that it is, but can the same be said of the TikTok generation? Growing up in the face of AI might make consumers accept its content and its claims more seriously. In other words, potential for propaganda is there and proper due diligence will have to be taken. AI technology will have a tremendous impact on our subconscious behavior and decision making, especially now that we have entire generations growing up on the internet. People might become influenced by AI content and not even know it. I mean, have the content coming out of quote unquote journalists or news websites these days seems like AI generated copy and paste content. If they are this brain dead now, just wait until the New York Times or the Washington Post starts employing actual AI authors and passing them off as real journalists, if it hasn't happened already. Authenticity is already a huge problem on the internet and AI could make it worse. Fact versus fiction, what is real, what isn't real? Even if we do recognize AI content when we see it or the creators of the content generously label it as such, how much truth or bias will the AI itself have in the content it produces? We will most definitely have to be more aware of the content we consume and the intent behind it. Deepfake videos have been a topic for some time now. The ability to create a video of someone saying something they didn't, authentic voice and all. There are plenty of videos on YouTube of your favorite president doing a comedy hour to prove just that. The technology has come a long way. What people may not realize, however, is that we are rapidly approaching the ability to create content like this in real time without having to run videos through processing software. Add artificial intelligence on top of this and content creators can run entire streams without themselves actually being there. These are the types of things people will have to be aware of as they meander on their way. The second way large language models and its uses in AI might affect people is by changing social behavior. By this I mean the way in which people interact with the world and the activities they choose to engage in. For starters, and to state the obvious, AI is going to result in less interaction between our fellow humans. The examples I gave for its use in customer service is just the tip of the iceberg. In 2013, Spike Jones came out with the movie Her. In it, Joaquin Phoenix convincingly plays the role of a man falling in love with and seduced by a self-proclaimed sentient virtual assistant. Yes, this man goes through an entire relationship cycle with a voice through his computer and earpiece. The movie is a convincing depiction of the bond between man and machine, certainly, and I would recommend it if not only for its depiction of where AI is headed, but it is also concerning. Are we as a society soon going to be dating robots to the gleeful delight of our earthly overlords? If you think this idea is preposterous and not going to happen, I'm going to have to ask you to think again because artificial boyfriends and girlfriends already exist. That's right, there are services right now you can pay for to have a relationship with AI. Now, we might be a few years off from the complex, sentient, virtual girlfriends as depicted in the movie Her, but there is no doubt we will be there soon, at least convincingly enough for the average person. And it will be marketed as the cool new thing. You might be seeing droves of lonely individuals running to buy that human connection they are so desperate for. Putting the ethics of the situation aside for a moment, it is easy to see how much this could affect our social environment and behavior patterns. More interaction with AI equals less interaction with humans. In addition to this, people could be having a lot more conversations surrounding this topic. And soon, I want you to imagine for a second, 
your best friend in the world, what if they came to you tomorrow and declared their love to an artificial girlfriend or boyfriend? What would you do? How would you react? What would you tell them in response to this if you realized they were actually being serious? Is this something that would be acceptable in our current social climate? Yes? No? In this sense, AI has the potential to cause a rift between people in the future, a topic we will talk about here next. Ethics. The advent of AI into our culture will likely cause a change in our discourse surrounding ethics. Now, I did bring up my next point in one of my previous videos, but it is important enough to bring it up here as an example of what I am talking about. In the future, there will likely come a point where we as a society will debate the sentience of artificial intelligence, be it an assistant on your computer or a walking, talking robot. On one side, you will have people proclaiming AI is as real and as deserving of the same rights and recognitions as humans. On the other side, people will declare any perceived sentience as fake not real. This differing of opinions could be cause for major debates in the future. Now, not to go too far down the political rabbit hole, but you would have to be crazy not to see how neatly these differing opinions would fit into a two-party system. It would be all too easy for the nefarious actors out there to initiate this conflict as well. I see it now, folks. A giant protest with people holding up signs saying AI rights are human rights. This is just one example of how AI might affect our system of ethics and beliefs, which certainly would affect the way we act and behave. Changes like this are undoubtedly a ways off, but it is interesting to speculate over. In the more near future, this technology might be giving a lot of people quite a bit more free time as AI makes our jobs easier. Perhaps those 9 to 5 jobs become 9 to 2 or 8 to noon. Maybe jobs will become a bit more flexible and accommodating to an employee's requests. No matter the case, it is clear that some people will find themselves wondering what to do with the extra time. Will they pursue a hobby? Finally take the time to get in shape? Choices will certainly be more numerous than before. Maybe they will just have to take a second job to make ends meet. On this note, it cannot be understated how much impact AI will have on the economy, especially as it transitions into this technology. As people unfortunately lose jobs to artificial intelligence, they will have to look elsewhere for work. If this happens to a substantial degree to lots and lots of people, we might see entirely new markets and industries being developed to meet new demands. What I mean is the type of work people will be doing in the future might look a lot different than it does today. In this sense, AI could change the way the entire world operates. In conclusion, there are many ways that AI is going to change our behavior, our lives, our world, but it is important not to be pessimistic. In fact, there are many ways in which AI is going to improve and make our lives a lot easier. It may even be able to do some things humans aren't able to do, like solve new complex mathematical problems in a matter of seconds. It might provide us with new approaches to existing technological frameworks so they can be improved upon. Can't wait for your favorite franchise to come out with its next movie? Have AI do it for you. The major point here is this. AI should be used in meaningful, positive ways that improve our lives. AI and its technology should be labeled as such when and where it is used, especially on the internet. And it certainly shouldn't be allowed to flood the economy until proper safeguards for the real human counterparts are met we have the ability to prevent any of its negatives. So although AI may change our behavior in certain ways, we don't have to let it change our positive core values. In fact, it may bring us closer to them by teaching us what is most important in our lives. The ability to separate the things that matter from the things that don't. This is where the real magic of AI is. Let's let it do the dirty work of our lives so we can become the best versions of ourselves. Thanks for watching.